about 150 men just personally that would kill for that hair. Right. I mean, he has such great hair, he's and he great. really is a good looking dude. He is. He's a handsome. So guy. you were just going to carve out, right? The plan was not to, to go severe. Well, I mean, yeah, the, the plan was to sort of consider who he was, especially in the way that he dressed. So, I mean, we, we, well, you'll see what we did. Yeah, not to. But you wanted to respect his personality exactly. and his independence, you know, and sort of his free. But he, kind of vibe. But he got a haircut. Okay, he got a, <laughs> he got a haircut. He got a haircut. <laughs> Let's see Ian now. <laughs> Ian, my first question to you is, are you comfortable? Yeah. I'm very pleased with everything. Well, let me just tell you, before we let your family speak, I think you look really handsome. Thank you. Really handsome. <laughs> so Karen is here on the end. Look at the smile on her face. <laughs> I think she's rethinking that whole ex thing. <laughs> oh, no. Listen oh, no. Oh, no. I'm taking my new look out. <laughs> There. Uh, and most importantly, you did this for your sons. Yeah. Guys, what do you think? He looks great, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're speechless, honestly. You happy? Karen, what do you think? Uh, he, when he came around the corner, I, he looked like somebody on TV. I don't know who, but I was like, who is that? You I know, know right? <laughs> he looks like famous. Yeah. I've never seen him look like that. <laughs> Guys, you saw their wedding pictures, right? I mean, yeah. you. He didn't even look like this on your wedding day. No. He sure did. <laughs> OK, now the most important question, would you be interested in keeping this look? Because you rock yeah. it well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I like pretty it. Over. I, I yeah. see the possibility. Uh, I, I do like it. Well, basically, we, you know, he's a big and tall guy, and, and the secret with, you know, if you're a big and tall size is just to in incorporate some structure into your mm -hmm. look. So I went with hiking boots, which I, which I love. Dark denim, dark watch, which right. we talked about before. And kept him in jeans. Kept him in yep. jeans, kept him in hiking boots even, you know? And then this is sort of a military green, but, uh, you know, quilted and cropped cut jacket. And then we just used You the, know, the my husband underneath. is not big and tall. He's... You know, he's got a nice chest on him, but he's a short yeah. guy. But I think that that crop thing works on, on shorter men, too, don't you think? It really, it really defines. It gives structure. It, it, structure is really the key for guys, I think, because they tend to get a little bit sloppy. And if you go with a cropped, you know, sort of a cropped waist and a solid jacket, you're creating structure. The right. dark jeans are structure. The boots are structure. And then you can have a fun pop of color, like with, you know, with the buffalo plaid. I love plaid. the lumberjacks. It's yeah, fun, The yeah. buffalo plaid is It so sort of cool. works for him. And then with the hair, I mean, you know, my friends he, at You Cutler. have the greatest hair ever, man. Doesn't he? But, you know, I got to say, <laughs> can, I, can I touch your hair, the bottom? Uh, and let me just say, you notice how thick and how healthy it is more with less hair on your head, yeah. honestly. Exactly. Honestly. And, we and let... it's very hot for women. Just long enough to push behind your ear exactly. is super sexy, man. <laughs> exactly. That's women, what we did. We left that length right there.